Hello and welcome to our channel. Today, we've got a pulse-pounding topic that's sure to shock you quite literally. That's right, we're talking about synchronized cardio version. Before we dive into the nitty-gritty, let's make sure we're all on the same page. Synchronized cardioversion is a procedure used to restore a normal heart rhythm in patients with certain arrhythmias, such as atrial fibrillation or atrial flutter. And guess what? I've got some visuals to help us out. Take a look at this animated heart rhythm. When our heart's electrical signals go haywire, it can lead to irregular heartbeats. That's where synchronized cardioversion comes to the rescue. It delivers a controlled electric shock at just the right moment during the cardiac cycle, aiming to reset the heart's rhythm back to normal. Now let's understand the indications of synchronized cardioversion. Synchronized cardioversion is indicated in all tachycardias with a rate of more than 150 beats per minute and is not resolved with medications. Some of these conditions include ventricular tachycardia, paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia, atrial flutter, atrial fibrillation, and also in cases of polymorphic ventricular tachycardia. Now let's start with the procedure. Before we dive into the procedure, we need to analyze a few things. First, in critical conditions where the patient's life is on the line, go to immediate unsynchronized cardioversion. Remember, urgent cardioversion is generally not needed if your heart rate is less than 150. Generally, Defibrillators are set to unsynchronized mode by default, so reactivation of sync mode is required after each attempted cardioversion. Also, prepare to defibrillate the patient if cardioversion causes ventricular fibrillation or VE. Yeah. Now, let's walk through the procedure itself. Remember, only trained medical professionals should perform synchronized cardioversion. Step 1 Patient Preparation. Administer sedation or anesthesia as needed to ensure the patient is comfortable and cooperative. Attach ECG leads to monitor the patient's heart rhythm throughout the procedure. Step 2. Energy selection. The energy level for the shock is determined by the specific arrhythmia being treated. Lower energies are used for atrial arrhythmias, while higher energies are used for ventricular arrhythmias. Step 3. Synchronization. The defibrillator is set to synchronize mode, which ensures that the shock is delivered during a specific phase of the cardiac cycle, usually the R wave of the QRS complex, and last. Step 4. Shock Delivery The medical team confirms proper synchronization and administers the shock by placing the paddles or pads on the patient's chest, anteroposterior, or on the back and chest, anteroposterior. After the shock, if patient rhythm come back to normal, careful monitoring and follow-up are essential. And that's a wrap on our overview of synchronized cardioversion. We hope you found this video informative. Remember, synchronized cardioversion is a powerful tool in treating certain arrhythmias, but it should always be performed by trained medical professionals in a controlled environment. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more informative content.